ich hier nicht um meine Person. Aber ich gehöre nicht auch zu jenen Leuten, die jemals die Fahne streichen. The Second World War breaks out in September 1939. After taking Poland, the Benelux countries and France, Hitler directs his attention to the north. It is important to gain control over the Skagerrak, the ocean stretch between Norway and Denmark, as this is the shipping route to and from the Baltic Sea. Norway is strategically important to the Germans. Access to ice-free Norwegian harbors is deemed crucial for shipping of mineral resources as well as giving the German Navy freedom of movement. German naval forces are sent against six Norwegian target cities Oslo, Kristiansand, Egersund, Bergen, Trondheim and Narvik. The night of the 9th of April 1940, German forces land in Norway. The very next day, 16,000 German soldiers have established their bridgeheads. Wittgen Quisling, the leader of the Norwegian fascist party National Samling, proclaims himself Prime Minister and orders the Norwegian armed forces to lay down their weapons. The German forces approaching Christian Sand is set under fire from Norwegian coastal defences. The Germans have to withdraw twice, but succeed on their third attempt to enter the city. Ten thousand mines are deployed in the Skagerrak the following days. The Norwegian airfields, including Christian Sand, quickly fall into German hands. The same takes place in Denmark. Locations for key coastal forts are chosen. Battery Vara at Mervik immediately west of Christian Sand and Battery Hunstolm at Hunstolm in Denmark. The construction of Battery Vara starts in the spring of 1941. The huge guns are transported by ship to Sweden and from there by train. The tunnels of the Norwegian railway from Oslo to Christian Sand has to be expanded and roads reinforced in order to be able to bring the guns and equipment to the final destination. The construction site is swarming with Norwegian, Danish and German workers, German soldiers and eventually Russian prisoners of war. At its peak, more than 2,000 men are working at the site. The fort covers an area about one square kilometer. Barracks, bunkers and machine gun posts are spread out and the area is perforated with tunnels. The batteries at both sides of the Skagerrak are equipped with four guns each. In combination, these nearly covers the entire ocean stretch between Norway and Denmark. A bunker is constructed to house each of the guns. Three of the gun positions are finished. The barrel for the fourth is transported by sea on the vessel Porte Alegre. The ship is sunk and the fourth gun is never to be completed. The remaining gun at Mervig is a Siegfried produced by Krupp in Essen, Germany in 1940. These guns were originally designed to be used on battleships and constituted the main armament of the Bismarck and the Tirpitz. The Siegfried guns were deadly. On the 24th of May 1941, the Bismarck sinks the British battleship HMS Hood. The ships are at a distance of 24 kilometers and HMS Hood explodes and sinks in less than a minute with a loss of 1500 men. The gun at Battery Vara is a 15-inch Siegfried model SKC-34 with serial number 79. It weighs 337 metric tons and has a total length of 92 feet. The barrel alone weighs 110 tons and is 66 feet long. The gun can be turned 360 degrees twice before it needs to be returned. 
the barrel has a levitation of 52 degrees. At a levitation of 45 degrees, the gun has a range of 34 miles. The grenades are 27 inches long and weighs 1,764 pounds. The light version weighs 1,100 pounds. The crew numbers 52 men. 19 men were required when firing the gun. The recoil was massive. At full charge, the gun recoils 40 inches with a force of 500 tons. The firing rate is one per minute. The guns were vulnerable to aerial attack and they were therefore protected by a concrete casemate. The casemate at Mervik was made for the gun that was never finished. The concrete roof and walls, 13 feet thick, have a high content of steel reinforcement. Still, the casemate was built in only 10 weeks. Above the opening you see a sort of staircase turned upside down. This contraption is called a tot pan and characterizes a German casemate. The tot pan gives extra cover for the gun and its crew without restricting the levitation of the gun. The casemate was camouflaged by nets and by trees planted around it. There were also trees on the roof. Battery VAR was never used in battle. The Allies kept their distance and that was also the main motive for building it. After the war the Norwegian armed forces took possession of the battery and changed the name to Mervik Fort. Mervik Fort was operational from 1946 till 1952 when the last shots were fired. The fort was abandoned in 1957. In 1962 two of the three guns were dismantled and recycled. The last one was spared at the last minute. In the following years, bits and pieces were gathered by enthusiasts, and the gun, its turret, and related machinery set in order. In 1989, Mervik Fort was converted to museum. From 1997, the gun could yet again be moved by electricity produced by the fort's own generator. At Mervik, just a couple of miles west of Christian Sand, you find an important and impressive piece of war history. One of the world's largest land-mounted guns. The gun at Mervik is the only remaining of its type and is really worth a visit. Mm -hmm.